you guys, you're going back to some of your country roots. You're telling me that you're packing up, you're leaving your new home now, going back to like home home. What is like going through your head right now? Well, in general, I would say like, I'm such a nostalgic person. I mean, that's why I'm a writer, you know, like I can't let go of anything. So I, it's, it, it's actually easy. It's, it, it's easy. I've gotten used to leaving. I know that's such a bad thing, but like, I've gotten used to not being a stable person. Uh, I mean, I'm mentally stable. I'm not a psychopath, but like, I've gotten used to like living out of two suitcases. I mean, that's kind of been my life for the last 10 years. And that's kind of like the trick of the trade with what I do is like being ready to go at the drop of a dime, you know, it's just like kind of always, I'm a nomad, you know, it's like being a musician means like you have to be durable and ready to go. So I am like, I'm, and, and I, I'm ready to, I'm ready for a change. Like I'm ready to go back to Oklahoma because like, that's just who I am deep down. Like, I think once you get in your 20s, you, you kind of start to realize, you, you, like, I don't know who I am yet, but I know who I'm not, you know? And I think that who, who, who I am to a point is belongs in the Midwest. I think that's just, I need to accept that. So I'm excited to go back there, and I'm excited to eat fried everything again because everything there they just fry and then like even vegetables so I'm excited about that. A bunch of different 20 year olds and people in that whole entire age range are thinking that they have to have everything together and they're trying to figure out who they are and who they want to be. What advice do you have towards them? Oh wow. Um, it's kind of like what I just said. It's like I, I think the sooner you realize that life isn't something you ever figure out um, the happier and more fulfilled you're going to be the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Like, there's no answer to life. There's no, there's no right or wrong way to live life. You know, it's like, there's right and wrong decisions in life, but I think the most important thing to remember in any situation, whether you're 14, whether you're 86 years old, is that, it's the quality of people you keep in your life. It's the quality of life that you live. It's, it, it's the things, it's, it's the day-to-day -day decisions that make you who you are. It's not like the, is this wrong? Is this right? Is this wrong? Am I making the right decision? Like, just calm down. Just, like, live your life to do what makes you happy. And th that is seriously something that I finally figured out this year. This was the year that I found that out. Like, I finally stopped living for other people, and I was like, you know what? If something happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't. Like, I'm going to just, like, I'm, like, Jesus take the wheel sort of thing. Like, I'm, I'm going to be happy, and I'm going to make the right friends, and I'm going to cut out the wrong people in my life, and I'm just going to, from now on, I'm just going to, like, do what makes me happy, which is make music and cook and and you know, just hang out with my mom. My mom's my best friend. I know it's kind of embarrassing, but, but I'm just going to do what makes me happy. And then when I look back at my life, that's what I'm going to remember, that I was happy.